Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and there's a new version, uh, update, um, version 2.3. And this video is a um, what's new video, an uh, overview of the new things. And first of all, there's now a desktop version of Nomad Sculpt for um, Mac and yeah, Windows PCs. And yeah, that's the first thing, desktop. Okay, now let's look at Nomad Sculpt. So I did a, a list here um, with an overview of all the new features. And the first thing is, um, so, sorry, I select the sphere. So there is now a shortcut windows option. So customizable shortcut windows. So you see here at the bottom here, um, such a shortcut window or here is also a shortcut window. And you find the shortcuts here in the settings and there's a shortcut option. And here you can add shortcut windows. So here I can move the windows around and yeah and place here my shortcuts where I want them to be. And okay, there's an extra video on this. Uh, I think I made one. Um, and yeah, you can add multiple windows. So um you see here, I think here in the bindings, no, these are the bindings here and there must be somewhere a checkbox, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, that's the thing with the shortcut windows. Um, a very, very useful thing here. Um, yeah, I love it. Okay, the next thing here is um, USD. USD export uh, or STL multi-file export. So I show you um, the things here. Now um, here are new export options um, like this USD here. And for the, where is it, STL files, um, here is now a setting, one file per object. So this one here, this checkbox, you can export um, multiple um, separate objects. Um, so you don't have to do it one by one. So. Okay, the next thing is here. Now it's possible to have six lights in the scene. So here, when I change to PBR mode, you can add here a light. And yeah, now you can have six lights. So one, two, three, four. So now it's grayed out and there is, um, sorry, where is it? Where is my, here there's um, a six light um, extra tutorial so you can find it on YouTube so there's a hack so I delete the lights but it's now possible to have six lights on iOS, Android and uh, PC and desktop version. So six lights. Okay. 
then here is a new menu here is a transform menu now so when you change now the tool play so here's the tool and here is now always the transform or matrix um, you don't have to open the gizmo so this is a new transform menu this one here okay so for the symmetry and the mirror there are improvements here in the symmetry you find now new icons here such yeah it's the same as before but new icons and here are new options to cut the mesh here so maybe i'm choosing the the sphere and I select cut now it cuts the object and yeah cut split and so on okay then so number six there's air stroke for brushes a new mode in the brush settings so clay tool is active here and here's the stroke setting so you don't see here air stroke so you find the setting here in the settings gesture i think here here you find allow air stroke for tool smooth mask and so on and the air stroke is I try to show you so when you start here with your pencil here in the viewport and you brush um, you brush here so you start here and you brush through the viewport I think so and now um, I turn this off and now I start here and nothing happens so you can start only here on the object so this is airstroke. I love it. So number seven, post-processing, bloom. Um, okay, so here in the post-processing, there is here for bloom, um, you see now um, there's a color option here you can change now here the color for the bloom and intensity radi radius and threshold um, and also for the SSAO so where's this Mm, tone mapping color grading curvature so sorry you have to play a, a little bit with it and here curvature there's also a new setting here um, here's a new thickness slider so this is um, um, this curvature thing here new thickness slider so you see it here this is the thickness slider so Okay. So now the next point number eight is um, background image lock. Okay. So now I have to hide my plane for a moment. So I place a reference image. So you see here now this option here sync on camera lock. So this here is this checkbox is active and this checkbox is 
um, with this lock button here here lock you see here the lock option so now when you move your object um, yeah, it moves without the background image and now when you press lock you can move and rotate the background image sync with your objects okay so this was this Where is the next point? So this was the background image. Then here number nine, the tube tool. So I add a tube. So when you move the nodes so like this here so here and then it becomes red so now it's gone and here you see the stop merging option here and now So, so now when you move the point here, it, it doesn't merge. So sorry, our snapping was on. So turn the snapping off and I bring it here in position. So now you see here the, the two nodes and when I activate this icon here and now it deletes the other node. And you also see here an option here when you press on it. So you can show the nodes of your tube. So maybe we activate all the ready and twist. And here when you press here um, you can show only the curve or only the twist nodes or only ready so or all okay the next thing on the tube here is when I turn the wireframe on you see here the X divisions so when I so I decrease the division. So now we have three, four, five, six. And in the old version, now after six, there was now 12, like this here. But now it's possible to change the value. Yeah like this so one two three four five six seven and so on so no more um, value six thing here it also works for the um, for the other uh, primitives so maybe cylinder and So here now the cylinder divisions also so in the old versions this was not possible 12 13 14 15 and so on okay good tube tool
Ah, yeah. In the outliner, there's now a lock option. You see here, here this lock option. So now when I lock the object and I select the So now the plane here is locked. So and now I can tap on the on the plane. So this is locking. So and here are also new features here is a, a new feature join layers separate layers and separate face groups i think this is also new so but they are grayed out at the moment so yeah but it's new join layer option this is this one here so join layer join layer option okay the next thing is face groups improvements we need a box validate so here in the operations menu there's a new smoothing option here so smooth and relax and also this preserve volume checkbox here this is also new so yeah have a look at it and play with it so a new smoothing slider or relaxing slider and for the face groups um, there's also here um, A new option for UV to face groups. So, yeah. And here are also new options here. So, on tap, so the mask, hide, and so on. Um, so you can hide now here and set your settings here. Okay. So the next thing is So this primitive tube division thing um, I showed you with the tube tool um, or with a um, with the other primitives, and this is a mask uh, thing for face groups, hide mask. Um, yeah, the new options here. Um, where is it again? So again, uh, the things here, this on tap thing and clear all. This is a little bit confusing at the moment, but um, yeah, I hope you get it. So that's it. And yeah, this was, this is the uh, most important things, I think, uh, with a new update. Yeah. Okay, this is it. Um, have fun with sculpting and ciao.